and it is Veda Day 24. Happy Sunday to everybody, first of all. And today's prompt from Bat and Veda is about guilty pleasures. Last August when I did Veda, there was one of these included in our prompts from that group, and I am actually going to link that below so that you guys can check it out. Please check it out. It's pretty funny. Um, all of those guilty pleasures are still true. I don't really have any new ones. So I am going to cheat and post that vlog as my answer. It's a quick one, so hopefully you'll have time to watch it. As for today, as for today, I'm going to take this opportunity to do a tag that I was challenged to do. I originally said I wasn't going to do this one until September. Um, because I wouldn't have a whole lot of vlogging to do in September compared to Veda, but I think I'm going to do it today. This is the scavenger hunt tag. It was originally created by Veronica. I will link her video below. I'm also going to link Chelsea's video below because she did it a couple of days ago. And that being said, <laughs> I'm going to put a couple of things up front before I start running around my house. This is the scavenger hunt tag. There's 20 things I've got written down that I have to show you. And we're supposed to kind of do them as quickly as possible. So depending on the shape and size and levels of your house and where all of your things are, this could turn into vlogging meets the Ironman triathlon. And if you watch Chelsea's video, you will know I am not kidding. Poor girl went up and down the stairs about 30,000 times. I was hysterically laughing the whole time I was watching it. Um, also, also, I have not really thought about what items I'm going to use for this, but I have turned on all the lights in my house because Chelsea had that problem. <laughs> I've turned on all the lights in my house and I decided to do this today because my house is quasi clean, which of course is better than a complete mess. So we're just going to go with it. I am also doing this sans cameraman. I'm trying to do this with my iPad. We'll see how it goes. Hopefully I won't make you nauseous. Veronica had a cameraman. I do not, so <laughs> I am going to try and not do this running at full speed so I don't make everybody nauseous, but I will also try and do it relatively quickly. So, here's my list. Let's start. All right, so every time I find an item, I'm going to turn the camera around so that you guys can see it with this handy-dandy little button I have on this app. All right, first thing, something old, and that one is, a new, is an easy one. Let's go over here, turn you around. That is something old. That is my grandparents' wedding certificate that I found. Getting a lot of glare, sorry guys, but you can look right there. And it says September 8th, 1928. And the two surrounding pictures are also quite old. That is my grandmother. Look at that gorgeous dress. All right, next. Something new. Okay. This is easy so far. They're like right next to each other. That is something new. I just got it, I don't know, last week. I love this thing, by the way. Let's put it where you can see it. That is my new way that I like drinking tea and lemonade and water and anything that I can think of. It's a mason jar mug, and I will eventually put chalkboard paint on it just to make it look cool. All right. Sorry, the exposure on this keeps jumping back and forth, but I will adjust it whenever I can. Next is something borrowed. First trip down the stairs. All right. My basement flooded a couple of days ago. So, we're going to go down the stairs. Pardon the mess behind me. All the recycles got to go out tonight. And we had to borrow all of this stuff. That's a dehumidifier and a bunch of fans. Thankfully, my basement looks all good now. But let me tell you, a couple days ago, oh, it was fun. Six inches of water from a nasty storm. All right. Before I go upstairs, let me look at this. Something blue. Back up the stairs. That's two. Two trips. Something blue is going to be my guest room. My whole guest room is blue, actually. There you go. The bed's blue. I'm surprised we didn't find a kitty on it. The pillows are blue. The lamp is blue. There you go. That's blue. All right. Next three songs on playlist. Well, that's a problem because I'm using my iPad. So let's go back in the kitchen because I think that's where my phone is. 
I'm going to set you down. Try and do this without making you too nauseous. You can have a good shot at my sea green shirt. Phone. All right, phone. Those of you who know me know that this could be funny. This could be very funny because I have all kinds of music. My whole collection doesn't even fit on this phone. So let's see what we have. Go to songs. First of all, first of all, this phone currently has, I don't know if you can see that, 3,488 songs, and I just hit the button, but you saw it. All right. So of those 3,488 songs, you are going to get Megadeth, Almost Honest. All-American Nightmare by Hinder. I guess it's going with The Rock. And Rihanna, Don't Stop the Music. So that actually wasn't that bad considering I have everything on that phone from like Sinatra to Garth Brooks so it, it could have like jumped all over the board all right pick you back up what have I got a dance move really really all right I'm going to do something really lame and I'm gonna do the chicken dance there you go because <laughs> that's about as good as it gets for me these days all right mugs in cupboard we're in the right room check it out oh my god you open the cupboard, turn you around. I have a mug problem in this house. All right. They're like stacked on top of each other because I can't fit them all in there. But those are the mugs. All right. Next. Next. We're not even halfway through this. Oh, my God. A fur baby. All right. I've probably scared half of them by running around. Oh, I spy a kitty. Hang on. This is magic. Magic, say hello. Hi, baby. Isn't she pretty? I'm biased, though. Oh, and there's another kitty behind me. You get a twofer. Yeah, this is Skittles. Say hi, Skittles. She says hi. It was perfect. That was perfect. All right. A gift. We are still on the same level, people. So far, I win. I've only had to go up and down twice. This was given to me by Veronica. See if I can get the exposure. There you go. It's a. It's supposed to look like a tree. It's a glass ball. It's hand blown. I know these as witches balls. They're supposed to scare away the evil spirits or actually catch them within those glass strands inside. It's a very very old wives' tale. Love it. Love it. Love it. All right. Something on a wall with writing on it. Well, technically, I already showed you that with the wedding certificate, but I will come in a different room. This is the fish tank room, those of you who have seen this before. And on this wall, we have stuff with writing on it. We have family, we have life, and then on this side, we have home and we have love. All right, so next, a hair product off to the bathroom. Now, those of you who have huge bathrooms are going to laugh when you see this. That's my tiny little bathroom. I don't live in Chicago, but I live close to Chicago, and unfortunately that means little bitty bathrooms. There's a hair product. Curly sexy hair. Because Fia's curly hair. All right. And now we're on the other side of the list. We've graduated. A shower curtain. Hey, we're in the bathroom. Awesome. You guys have seen this. My leaves. My leaves. I use it as a backdrop for some of my videos. <clears throat> All right, let's get out of this little bitty room. Hopefully you don't have to go back in there because I just turned off the lights. Now, lost track of where I was. Dish soap. That's right over here. There's the dish soap in a little glass canister. And food. 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 We're still in the right room. Awesome. We're going to play MTV Cribs, and I'm going to show you the inside of my refrigerator. There's the food. Lots of it. Well, kind of. Bread, fruit. Tea. There you go. Oh, there's another one. See, I got I got two of those mugs. Alrighty. Something colorful. Oh, man. Um, here. How about this? Something else on a wall. 
This is on my kitchen wall. And it is colorful, and it's also got a lot of glare, but there you go. There you go. I've got two of those on my kitchen wall, actually. Here's the other one. There's your something colorful. All right. Souvenir from a trip. I should have thought this one through. Oh, I know. On my kitchen refrigerator, there's a magnet. I brought that back from Arizona. Send over shots. Haha, <laughs> love it. And something from my purse or wallet. That's in the other room where we were with the fish tank. So let's go back in here. The purse is by the door. There's my purse. So let's just stick a hand in here and randomly see what we got. Sunglasses. Does that count? It was in my purse. Sunglasses. And we'll do something else. Oh, here we go. Kitty medicine for my moose kitty. He's uh, on thyroid medicine for the rest of his life. So that was his refill. All right. Again, I lost track of where I was. Mailbox, doorbell, doorbell, or welcome mat. Okay, so that's clear on the other side of the house. I could show you the back door, but I don't know. That's kind of boring. Let's go to the front door. This is a house tour on crack, as I put on Veronica's. All right, first of all, mailbox. I did not turn these lights on. I failed at that. All right, mailbox. My mailbox, I'm going to show you both sides because a lot of people have never seen this before. It's a built-in mailbox. Some of the older, quasi-older Chicago houses or near Chicago houses have this. That's how I get my mail from the inside. All right, so let's go out the front door. First of all, whoa, Claire, there is my front door. That's my front door with my welcome sign on it. Let's go outside. And ha ha ha, this is going to be funny, guys. This is going to be funny, funny, funny. Look what's on my welcome mat. The free newspaper that I told you guys about. All right, let's move that. There's my welcome mat. Yes, it has an S on it. I'm sure I'm going to get questions about that because those of you who know me know that my last name does not start with us. Here is what the mailbox looks on like on the outside. Kind of cool. Only problem with that is if you're receiving packages or anything potentially big, like, oh, I don't know, even a couple of magazines, they're going to get mushed in that stupid thing. But airplane, sorry. Um, other than that, it's a pretty cool mailbox. All right, let's go back inside. It is like so humid outside today. It's warm. It's like 90 degrees. If he likes it hot, as you guys know, but I don't like it humid. And right now, it's like as humid as being in the middle of the Pacific Ocean with it being 90 degrees, which is like 100% humidity. we close to it. Grab this newspaper. What is next on Veronica's list? A handheld kitchen gadget. Back into the kitchen. Back into the kitchen. All right. Handheld kitchen gadget. Well, let's see. I could show you the, what's in the drawers. Nope. Handheld kitchen gadget. I gotta put you down. One second. Handheld kitchen gadget. It is a blender emulsifier. There you go. And in the same drawer, I just wanted to show you yes, everything is fee green in turtles. This is a cutting board. Everything is fee green. Except for the emulsifier. Sorry, I couldn't find one that was green. All right. Where did I put my list? Over here. <laughs> this is crazy. Pajamas. I thought I was going to get away with two trips up and down the stairs. Now I've got to go up. So that's three trips. Not too bad. Let's go up. These are the big stairs. Actually got to use the hand railing. All right. Turn you around. This is my bedroom. And there's pajamas. It didn't take too long. Probably longer than I wanted it to. And... I'm going to steal something from Chelsea. Now I'm tired. <laughs> that was made at 824. I hope you guys like this. This is crazy. If you are from Bat and Veda, I am tagging you to do this because it's fun. I will put in the description box all of the things you're supposed to find so you can just grab it and go. 
And who else am I tagging? I'm tagging Lee in a fishbowl if she sees this. Absolutely. You're going to do this, girl. All right. I'm out of here. Talk to you guys tomorrow.